So the Observer asked me to have a look at e-readers um, because I spent the whole year reading books, uh, all the books, I've read all the books. They very sweetly sent me uh, a Kobo, a Kindle, a Sony Reader and a Nook. Uh, and then they didn't send me an iPad mini. That's mine, they're too cheap to send me an iPad mini. I, I brought my own iPad mini, um, I'm just saying. And so uh, then I got to compare and contrast. The Kindle, um, you know what? It's much nicer than I thought it would be, which makes me feel like a bit of a iPad owning bigot. Um, but the screen is really clean and nice and certainly when it's lit it just looks super crisp and like reading an actual page of an actual book um, which is always my ambition with an e-reader something which looks like you're reading from a screen is a little bit dispiriting after a while it feels like work so it does look lovely my big issue with the kindle is that it won't give you page numbers um, it's always about percentages um, converting page numbers into percentages is one of the little treats for reading <laughs> if you are me you're, oh I've read 100 pages that must be 32 percent hmm time for a break um, I, I hate the fact that it converts it already I would much prefer page numbers but still um, this is exactly what I would like to read um, at the moment I have uh, Stephen King's uh, Doctor Sleep on here um, and it's perfect for reading a thriller I don't need to hold a giant paperback when I could instead uh, be reading it on here. So yeah, I'm I'm surprised to find how much I like the Kindle. Next, the Sony Reader. Um, this comes rather sweetly with a cover, which makes it feel like an actual book. Oh, look, here I go opening it. Um, it is really, really light, so very and very skinny, so very easy to hold one-handed. The screen is a little dispiriting in colour. It's a little grey, and because it doesn't light up, it feels just a little bit like looking at a sort of depressing wall in a hospital uh, because of its greyish colour, which in its defence they all are, it's just all the others have a, a backlight so they light up to a nice clean white. Um, the Sony doesn't, although I think if you uh, want you could buy a separate case that has a light on, so if you choose to read by night you don't have to be put off. I think probably its main virtue is its extreme lightness and the fact that because at the end of reading you have the sort of joy of shutting it, it does feel like you've completed an action which I never quite feel if I if just kind of put it down and then let it go to sleep. Um, to be honest, even saying that I've let a device go to sleep pains me. Uh, it is just too anthropomorphic. So yes, I say to you, the Sony Reader is quite good. Next is the Kobo. Now I am thoroughly ashamed to admit that only <laughs> when I got this view through to review and my partner says, oh, Kobo, yes, of course, it's an anagram of book. Did I realise it was an anagram of book? It's just four letters. I'm so ashamed. Um, but Again, it's incredibly light, it's easy to read one-handed. It's about the weight of a sort of 1970s paperback, not a mucky one, a tiny one. I think the downside is that because the screen is so small, it's all right for regular prose, it's not great for comics. Uh, you can see here that I am reading uh, The Walking Dead, which I have to be honest, it should work because it's a black and white comic, um, but uh, it, it, probably the pages are okay when it's one panel, when it's a bunch of panels, it's probably a little bit too small to read those uh, those voice bubbles. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a very cute, quite functional e-reader. I think they've tried really hard to give you a device on which the book is what matters. Um, and as a writer, I approve wholeheartedly of that. Um, I don't think they've tried to make you believe that this is a beautiful object that you want to own and show off. Um, they've just said, this is a mechanism through which one can read. So well done for that. The Nook. Oh, I'm fond of the Nook. And the reason I'm fond of the Nook is because in the US, if you go into a Barnes & Noble with your Nook, you can read any book in the store for free while you're there. And I very much wish that we could get the same thing going on with bookshops here. Um, I think it would be really cool uh, trying to lure people into a bookshop uh, and then keep them there. It has a bunch of nice features. Uh, for a start, it's, there's something sort of pleasingly like a toy about it. It's quite rubberized on the back. I don't think it is bouncy. It holds up to illustrations quite well. I am looking at, uh, not reading, I can't read Spanish, a Spanish edition of Matilda, uh, with lovely illustrations by Quentin Blake, of course, uh, which work in every language. Um, and you can lend a book from nook to nook. And as an author, I very much like the idea of people loaning uh, e-books around the same way they can loan paperbacks. Somebody can say electronically, I love this, have a go on it, see if you like it too. So well done the Nook. Last but certainly not least is the one that I use in real life, uh, the iPad mini. Um, I used to use an iPad but it was quite heavy. Um, I know, a first world problem, I do hear you. Um, and, uh, and then this year uh, I got given an iPad mini which I like even more. It's heavier than the others but it's not heavy at all, about 300 grams with the uh, cover off. 
I like the fact that it has page numbers. I live for page numbers. iBooks has page numbers. If you read PDFs, which is how most proof copies of books that I'm asked to review or judge come through, uh, they too usually have page numbers. I, I'm obsessed with the page. I, I realise it's of less interest to everybody else, but it really, really bothers me. The other good thing is that you can download a Kindle app and you can download the Kobo app. So you have access to the stores which sell all the books for this and this device in addition to iBooks. So you have a huge range of potential reading material. Um, I can't lie to you, I have set the pages to sepia because I think it's a little bit easier on the eyes. Um, so it is a slightly poncy colour and there are lovely edges to the pages <laughs> for maximum poncitude. Um, but in my defence, I am reading John McEnroe's autobiography. So I think that should slightly counterbalance some of the ponciness. I'm hoping so. Um, anyway, I'm very fond of it. I wouldn't swap it. If I was going to pick one to keep, I don't get to keep them, I've got to give them back. Um, I feel like I have to take the iPad mini out of the mix because that's mine to begin with and it was a present, so it would be particularly thankless of me to not be happy with it and keep it. Over the remainder, I think I am probably going to go with the Nook. Um, I like the rounded edges of it, I like how it feels a little bit like a toy. I think that reading should feel like fun and not work, even when you do it for work. Um, and then in second place, very close second place, uh, is the Kindle, which I liked very much more than I expected to. It's got a really lovely, clean, crisp screen and it's really easy to use. So those are my recommendations. <laughs>